in order to charge up your PlayStation controller, you guys have these cables that came with it. So on the back, you will see this input. That's where you have to have to plug this in. Now this type of cable is your regular cable. So if you guys have an Android device, so almost any Android, it's gonna be the same cable. Once you plug that into your controller right here, we just have to plug this end to your PlayStation. So we can go ahead and just plug it in right here because we do need our controller to be fully charged or at least plugged in while we're doing the setup for your new PlayStation. So when you first plug in your PlayStation, you do have to hit this button in order to turn it on. And then we should see this screen right here. So it should detect already your controller. As long as it's turned on, you will see this light behind it. So that's behind my controller. There should be a light from there. You guys see this PlayStation button right here? So just press that and you're gonna need to do the setup right now. So we're just gonna select English US. Then once again, we're just gonna hit X on our controller, which is the same thing as enter. And if you guys are using ethernet cable, then that would be your selection. Other than that, just go up with your joystick and select Wi-Fi. Right now you should scan for all Wi-Fi's near you. And I'm just gonna select the very first one where it says tech and design. That's my personal Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi will be different. Once you put in your password, it's just gonna check and then it's gonna take you up to the next screen. If you guys have the camera, this is the time to do it. If you guys don't, just go ahead, press X again in order to skip. Right here, we have to set up the time. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it as US and Canada. As long as the time and date is correct, just go down with your joystick and then select next. So these are actually pretty good. I would leave it as default. So it does turn off after four hours if you're not using it. Same deal with one hour, need a playback. It, it depends, one hour is for general gaming. We're gonna go next. From here, I do suggest just keeping a check mark on all of them. So we're just gonna go in next. We do have to accept this so with your joystick, just select accept right here. Press X on your controller. And finally, we can start now. So right here, we're gonna set up our user. So let's just, again, press X. And we should see all these messages. Right now, you're done with the setup. There's things that you should do right now that you guys have your new PlayStation, such as setting up your user. So I would customize it and not just have it as user one, but going to profile. So again, with my joystick, I'm going all the way up and then I can have all these options. And from here, I can go into profile. I can edit user and I can edit name. So again, I can just put in tech and design for my user name go back and do all that customization. Once I change my name, I can just go ahead. I can choose an avatar as well. So I can go ahead. Um, right now it does need an update. Perfect. We always need to do updates before we can go ahead and do anything. So let's update now. We're gonna go on next, update, and we're gonna let it be. So right now there's uh, quite a few things that you guys should do with your PlayStation, such as these updates. So running updates is very important and it's gonna keep everything running like it should. That would be it for this setup video. If you guys have more questions or want to know exactly how to handle PlayStation, I do have a manual for that. I have a bunch of other videos on PlayStation as well right here on my channel. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.